Hello and welcome to this video on how to upgrade to the latest version of DLP Prevent and enable the clustering feature. When you cluster DLP Prevent appliances, it optimizes traffic and provides high availability. And the upgrade process is actually pretty easy. Okay, let's get started. Your first step is to download the latest DLP Prevent ISO by using your grant number on the McAfee Software Download site. Just use the link in the description or navigate to the site from McAfee's homepage. Find the DLP Prevent listing and download the latest hotfix or patch. After the download's complete, you'll want to boot your DLP Prevent appliance off the ISO. I'm just going to demo it using my virtual appliance in ESX. First, I'm going to upload the ISO to my ESX server. I'm going to browse to my data store and select the location that I want to upload my ISO to. When I click Upload, I can then select the file and click Open. Next, I'll right-click on my DLP Prevent Appliance host and click Edit Settings to set the CD DVD drive to point to the image on the data store that I had just uploaded. I'll also want to make sure that the Connect button is checked. I also want to take a look at the boot options and boot into the BIOS to make sure that it is set to boot from the CD DVD drive first in the boot order. I'm now going to restart the system and boot into the BIOS. In the BIOS, I can then make sure that the boot order is set so that my CD-ROM is listed above my hard drive. I can then save and exit. Okay, now that I've booted off the CD DVD drive, it will prompt me with a menu of options. I want to make sure to select the option C where it performs the upgrade and retains all the settings. After I've selected option C, I'll enter A to continue and confirm the upgrade. After that, it starts the upgrade process. I'm just going to speed up the video here since I'm sure we've all seen plenty of progress bars. After the upgrade is complete and the appliance is at the login prompt, we can then log into EPO and see its status under Menu, Appliance Management. We can also see the new Prevent Appliance version here as well as the fact that they are currently in standalone mode. Okay great, now that the appliances are upgraded, let's set up load balancing. The two DLP Prevent appliances must be connected to the same network segment for it to work. To set up load balancing, go to Menu, Policy Catalog. Select DLP Prevent Server from the Product dropdown, then click on the General Policy that is assigned to your systems, which is probably my default. In the Policy screen, check Enable next to Load Balancing. Next, assign it a cluster ID such as 1 and then give it a virtual IP address. After you hit save and apply the changes, perform an agent wakeup on your DLP Prevent appliances. It may take about 5 minutes for the cluster to stabilize and identify the cluster master and cluster scanners. Afterward, we can take a look in appliance management again and see that the descriptions have changed accordingly. They are now listed as clustered. Okay, great. That's pretty much it. As you can see, it's easy to upgrade DLP Prevent and set up load balancing to optimize your environment and provide high availability.